Good morning children. This is your Shanghita ma'am and today in this class I will discuss the snake drawing a small but beautiful poem in your Bihai book. The poem is written by W W E Ross. He was considered as the first modern Canadian poet. Most of us think of snakes as fearsome symbols of death. But the snake in this poem is itself a victim. The poet is telling us that we need to pause and act with a rational mind instead of being hysterical and irresponsible when we interact with this often harmless reptile. Pain and anxiety of the snake and the ruthlessness of the human beings has been depicted in this poem very beautifully snakes are one of the many beautiful creations of nature the poet has written about how a snake is trying to escape the onslaught of a pursuing stick it tries to slip off and looks so beautiful and thin body the snake tries to glide through the water to get away now let's read the poem children the snake trying the snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden carvings of thin long body how beautiful and graceful are his shapes he glides through the water away from the stroke or let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt small and green he is harmless even to children along the sand he lay until observed and chased away and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds so here the poet tells us about a water snake that is being disturbed by a human being who is pursuing it with a stick pursuing means following it is carving its long body into graceful and beautiful shapes graceful means beauty of form or manner or movement it is very elegant to look snake slips through the water smoothly and easily to escape from being hit by that stick the poet is here hoping that the snake is able to escape into the reeds and hide there without being hurt or without being wounded he adds that the poor snake is small and green and doesn't harm even the little children here reeds means tall slender leaves of plants or grass family which grows in water or on the marshy ground till the time the snake was observed the little snake stretched itself along the sand as soon as he was disturbed and chased by the pursuing stick he vanished into the water and hides among the slim green leaves of the water reeds the snake tries to glide through the water to get away from the man the poet hopes that it is able to make a safe escape he pleads through the poem through his poem to let the snake free because it is timid it is a timid green water snake that is absolutely harmless it doesn't even harm little children the snake was noticed while it was taking rest on the sand and now it escapes to the green reeds that would act as a disguise and save the snake here in this poem the poet has used personification what is personification children it is the attribution of human characteristics to animals or any non living things in this poem the poet refers the snake using the pronoun using the pronoun he which is used for human beings 
so that is why it is an example of personification there is no particular rhyme scheme in this poem so the poem is written in blank verse or it is written in free verse the poet has also used in this poem alliteration what is alliteration alliteration is the occurrence of the same consonant sound at the beginning of or adjacent or closely connected words he is harmless h is repeated so that's why it is an example of alliteration what is the message of the poem the poem the snake trying written by w w e ross comes as an eye opener to the readers the simple and comprehensive language the poet has used makes it easy for us to realize what he is trying to convey we have always been warned about staying away from the venomous reptile called snake this poem has clarified that all snakes are not dangerous the message is very evident and worth abiding by in this poem the poet tries to say that human beings react to snakes based on their own fears he points out that not all the snakes are poisonous in fact some of them are quite harmless it is cruel to attack a snake as soon as we see it even if a snake is poisonous it will do us no harm if it doesn't see any danger from us because a snake only bites in self protection otherwise it is as harmless as any other creature Sadly human beings are the ones who attack a snake without provocation. Conservation of nature is one of the burning issues of the present day. We notice several species of animals and birds vanishes from the surface of the earth each day. Every creature on the earth has been sent with a purpose and duty to perform. and each of these creatures have a role to play in maintaining the ecological balance indiscriminate destruction of flora and fauna is dangerous for the stability of nature therefore it is important for the human beings who have taken up the role of the destroyer to ponder upon the issue it is our duty to preserve all the natural resources upon this earth So I hope children you have understood the video and you have enjoyed thank you